Welcome back and Happy New Year. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, January 4th, 2021. So if you would like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. As you can see, we ended the year by at roughly 3,756.07. So basically, it was a really good year for the S&P 500. Even though we had this major crash here, still, this was basically a good year. So January 2020, and basically to the end, it basically grew by 15.89%. If anybody were to say that we were going to grow by, the S&P 500 was going to grow by 15 or 16% in 2020, when they saw this, they would think that we are basically crazy. But people that bought down here did a fantastic job. They basically gained 71.36%. Well, fairly fantastic. But uh, the question is whether or not this is going to continue. And uh, I would say, yeah, probably not the same amount of growth in, in, the, in, the, um, in 2021. But there is going to be quite a lot of stimulus. So there's going to be um, a lot of support for the economy to get going again, both from the Federal Reserve and also from the uh, United States um, government so or Congress. And that is going to make this market go higher. At this point, we are on the, on the border of being overbought. So it, I would not be surprised if we had a minor pullback towards the 20 exponential, for example, the RSI is at 70, and uh, most of these indicators, even though they are looking very bullish at this point, are looking uh, showing signs of exhaustion. For example, if you look at the Bollinger Band, we are way outside of the top of the Bollinger Band. And this usually means that we have a pullback towards the middle, and that's roughly a fall of 1.6%. And there is your basically your buying opportunity. So that is very likely that that is going to happen in the beginning of in January. That we see this pullback towards the middle, and then we continue this rally. So the 20 exponential is the bottom of the market at this current stage, and the closer that we get to the 20 exponential, the better the buying opportunity. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So that's very similar here in the Dow Jones. We are not overbought, we're there at 66, but we are way outside here of the Bollinger Band. And usually when that happens, you can just see in the past here, outside, pull back. If we go outside here, we have a massive pullback, the same here. So at this point, we are, we are very overstretched here in the Bollinger Band. And this would indicate that we will see a pullback towards the middle of uh, the Bollinger Band, which is at the 20 moving average, and that's a fall of roughly 1.3%. And there's your entry to this market. Other technical indicators are still bullish. We're still in an uptrend here. Um, our RSI is bullish, the CCI is flat, the sarcastic is bullish, and so on. But the pullback towards the 20 is your buying, is your entry point for this market with a stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential. And the target at this point is 31,000. So that is basically where we're heading to next. So roughly from here to 20, uh, 31,000, that is roughly 3.03%. Yes. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ is at this current stage significantly overbought. So we're at 80.73. The NASDAQ is going to have a pullback towards the 20 exponential. We are trading at 12,888. Um, and that is basically as high, the highest the NASDAQ has ever been. So at this point, a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that is roughly 2.1% fall. And uh, that is... Um, 12,630, give or take. And that is basically going to be your entry. So the 20 exponential has been very supportive for a very long time now. And if we break the 20 exponential, then we have the 40, 50, and also the 100 down here. And as you can see, 
that was where we bought them only roughly in November, beginning of November and then had this massive rally from basically the US election was here and we have been rallying since. But just pay attention, this is significantly overbought. It is going to have a pullback towards the 20 at least and that is roughly 2% and then it's going to continue rally. The, the target at this point is 13,000 and then 13,500. So let's look at this tech stock. So they were doing fairly well at the end of the year. If you look at the Google for no, Apple first, sorry. So Apple was way, way over ex extended here. We can see in the bullish band, we was way outside. And at this point, we are going to um, pull back towards the 20 exponential. And that is basically where you could buy into this market. You can see that the 20 is supported here, is here, and also all the way back here. 20 has been very supportive. We are on the edge of being overbought. Um, we need to go even further. So a fall of roughly roughly 3% more. That is very likely for, for Apple stock. And you can also see that if you have a pullback in the NASDAQ, the reason why that is is because most of these stocks are fairly, or the big tech companies are fairly overbought at this point, and they're going to have a pullback. So pull back towards the 20, that's your buying opportunity. The target here is the highest, and that's a, you know, a trade of roughly 8% profit. So just wait until it falls down here and then buy it because it is, it is Apple and it will just continue rising. So let's look at Amazon. Amazon, the same. Uh, we had this massive rally of roughly 5.6% uh, in just two days. And then we broke down roughly, roughly 2.8%. And this is going to uh, fall even further. We are going at least down towards the 20 uh, moving average, which is a very round number, 3,200, give or take. And then we'll uh, hover there for a moment and then go higher or we just continue even higher. We are in uptrend. We have been, this has been one of the most successful trades in 2020. You can see that Amazon did not have as a big of a fall as most companies because it benefited significantly from the pandemic and will most likely continue benefiting significantly from the pandemic in um, 2021 because people are buying more online and the world is changing. That is going to be the new uh, way that we basically buy things that is basically online and not in physical stores. So it rallied from from uh, roughly 1500 all the way up to 3552 and that is over a hundred percent. So a massive rally in 2021. So at this point, technical indicators are basically turning around. So we may see this fall at least to the 20 exponential, even the 50, which is at 3,171. If we find support there, then it's of course a buy. A fall below that will open the door to these previous lows, which is the 150, and that is a roughly $3,095 a share. So let's look at, at, at Microsoft. So Microsoft rallied the last three weeks of the last year and then broke down towards the 20 exponential moving average. And I think this is just the beginning of this breakdown. We pulled back, but these technical indicators are showing that we are we have some way to go. We most likely will fall all the way down towards the 100 moving average at $214 uh, $14, and then we continue rallying in, in Microsoft stock. The reason why I say that is because we're still way overbought. Even though we broke down the last three trading days, we're still overbought. We're at 72 at this point, and other indicators are all turning around. So the more this falls, the basically the buy, better the buying opportunity. So I'll be looking for entry roughly here of, uh, of 213, and the target will be these highs, and that is a trade of roughly 5.6%. So let's look at Facebook. So Facebook had a really tough time in the end of last year. We had this really good rally here and then it just collapsed. So I don't think that we are going to see this market. We'll probably go back down to 264, maybe. But even 
if we do, I'll buy even more of this. This is the most populous, uh, populous stock for the big investors. They are they basically have Facebook, all of them in their portfolio, and a big part of their portfolio is basically Facebook stock. So they believe in this um, stock, and therefore we probably always should because they are the ones that basically move this market. So the cheaper this becomes, the more they will buy, and therefore it will most likely also increase. So technical indicators are still basically all over the place. We are trading here right at 100 moving average. It has been fairly uh, supportive in the past, but I would like to see this trading above the 50 moving average. So the 50 moving average was uh, resistant here, and the 100 moving average was support. So technical indicators are still fairly bearish. Stochastic is, uh, is uh, looking dreadful. The same for bullish band, we're pointing towards the lower part of the bullish band. The MACD is looking like it's turning around and the RSI is bullish. So technical indicators are all around the place. So at the point, uh, I started buying this uh, roughly in this area here. So, so even though we have this pullback here, I'll buy even more of this because this is probably one of the tech stocks that is going to rally most in the next few weeks. So let's look at Tesla. So Tesla is trading at 705 at this current stage. We may see this go a little bit higher before we have a pullback towards the 20 exponential. So this has been very reliable, predictable uh, trades for, for Tesla because every time we pull back towards the 20, it rallies. So pull back towards 20, it rallies, and hopefully that will just continue. At this stage, we are very overstretched. You can see we're outside of the bullish band. And last time we did that, we broke down quite significantly, roughly at 11.6%. Uh, uh, so just keep that in mind. Every single time that happens, it has these major pullbacks. So we could see a pullback towards the 20, and that's roughly a fall of 8%. But that can just gives you the buying opportunity for Tesla because people are just buying the stock even though it's significantly overvalued, just ridiculously overvalued. I think the PE ratio for Tesla is about 1,000. And usually you would look at companies that are above 20 <laughs> that would be considered being overvalued, and this is over 1,000. So let's look at Google. Google is trading right at the, 20, uh, the 50 uh, moving average and has found support there. We may see this fall a little bit further i would not i would not be surprised if that were the case towards 1715 that is basically the, the bottom of this market most likely but it'll be interesting to see um we did rally from the 50 moving average and uh, the reason why i say we may see a little bit of pullback is because you can see that stochastic is pulling back here and that is usually not a very good sign but it'll be interesting to see what basically happens in in Google stock. The 50 moving average has been significant uh, support in the past, right here and also here. And uh, we did also bounce from it there. So yes, we'll see basically what happens. I'm expecting it to, to probably pull back a little bit and then rally towards 1848. That is the uh, previous highs here. But yes, that is most likely what is going to happen in this trade. Other technical indicators, for example, the MACD is still above zero. We're still in uptrend. We're just at 1.15. And uh, we'll probably see this just flatten out. And then um, if that we see the stochastic turn around, then we will see the MACD also crossing the signal line probably in one or, or two trading days, and probably on Tuesday. So target is 1848. The lower this technically goes, the more I will buy from it because this is also one of the most popular popular stock there's out there and it just continues growing so hope you found this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much